What's going on everybody? So Chicago Bears fans were rejoicing all night last night. I know you were. I saw it trending on Twitter, Mitch Trubisky, all the stuff like that. Let's go ahead and break down the game, uh, preseason game between the Bears and the Broncos. Now keep in mind, a lot of the defensive players that are the real starters like Von Miller, a couple other guys were out. It wasn't like it was the mainstream defense. So I heard a lot of sports aficionados saying, yeah, you know, Mike Glennon was going up against the, you know, the first team defense. Chris Harrison and boys were out there, but I'm talking about like the upfront linebackers, defensive line, that type of core. A lot of the main guys didn't play. So let me just say that first. Um, Mike Glennon is a bum. Um, I, if anybody knows him and they can get this message to him, just let him know he's the luckiest man probably. Well, I can't say he's the luckiest because there's a lot of other quarterbacks that also suck. And um, they're out there making a lot of money when Colin Kaepernick is still sitting home. But this is what the situation is. Mitch Trubisky, I like what I saw. I know it's against second team and third team players and people that probably won't make it to the NFL, but it's still the NFL. You have to, people don't realize, you have to do a decent amount of things to be able to be on that field. And being the number two pick, that's a huge pro You, It's so much pressure on these young men that go out there and people just run their mouth like, yeah, bro, it's just the preseason. Just imagine you're a young kid, right? You're doing peewee. And then you go up like, you know, you go from peewee to like all the way to high school. You're in the NFL. There's nothing else above. This is the huge. This is where it is right now. This is the highest level. So when you say things like that, it really frustrates me because these, these young men, these kids are out there putting everything into it. And it's still a lot of pressure. He's, if he doesn't perform, he gets, he gets ridiculed, oh, he's gonna be a bust, whatever like that. If he does perform, it's just preseason. You understand what I'm saying? So we gotta give these guys the benefit of the doubt. Deshaun Watson, these guys, we're looking at, uh, we, know it's not the re we know it's not the regular season, but we also know that these are NFL uh, prospects and people that are really going out there to try very hard to make the team. So these guys are playing very, very hard and it's still the Denver Broncos defense. And I saw a lot of things uh, from Mr. Trubisky that should make Bears fans smile. I wouldn't go as far as trying to name him the MVP or the Rookie of the Year yet, but I like what I, going from Jay Cutler to a guy like this, and he looks pretty fast. I didn't really know that he was that fast, but he has some wheels on him. Um, when you think about what you had and what you have now, you have to be excited. At least, with Jay Cutler, you knew what you were gonna get. You were gonna get some big games where he would just, out of nowhere, probably beat the Packers two years ago and then go on a losing streak. Like You just knew what you were gonna get. I, th I think right now, Trubisky, th the Bears might prove to everybody that they didn't make a mistake because he looks like he has the characteristics to be the traits, to be a great, well, not great, a good NFL quarterback and maybe possibly be great. And it's funny because a lot of us during the draft, we nobody predicted this. You know, for them to move up a spot, nobody predicted anything. And I, like myself, I watch a lot of football tape and I watch a lot of film. And I know guys that I will estimate that's going to be a bust and stuff like that. And usually I'm right on. I didn't know how to feel about this kid because I didn't see enough of him, you know, in college or whatever like that. So um, it was very, very tough. I'm trying to think. I like, you know, maybe it's the hype and, you know, they just want to see what's going to happen with them and stuff like that. But it turned out looking at that game yesterday, again, preseason, second string, third string, the guy is out there and he's performing and he's making plays. And... That's that's very important to see that in a young player that you put the time into and you put him on your draft board for him to come out and at least do that. And again, you can say whatever you want to say about it, but a lot of these players that come out and then they, they do horrible in the preseason, they're usually bums in the regular season as well. So you can't knock him for coming out and playing very, very well in his debut. Okay, and, and that's my point about it. And I just wanted to make the Chicago Chicago Bears fans know You've definitely been upgraded from Jay Cutler to Trubisky. Like right now, I can tell you that he's going to do a lot more. Unless, you know, bar barring injury, listen, he has those, th he, he has certain things that I saw yesterday. Uh, his awareness, um, he had great poise. He showed like he wanted to command the offense. I like that about that, uh, about him. Um, you know, just looking, it, it, you can tell when somebody is eager to go out there and it's just like, it's too much emotionally for them and they can't handle it. He went out there and he, he, he did exactly what he was supposed to do in his debut. I know he was trending and I know people were excited and it probably a little more was put into it, but understand what they're coming from. Leonard Floyd, he looked good too. You saw that sack, like the, the, Bears, the Bears are such a historic franchise. Mike Dicker, these boys, the 4-6 Bear defense, 
And it, it feels good to me just to be an NFL fan to see that they have something that you can look for on a Sunday. That you know, that's that's more or less what it was. It wasn't a lot more uh, like, yeah, bro, this guy's gonna be a stud and things like that. It was more of this guy has the potential to be a suitable person that comes in for Jay Cutler and makes the team better. That's what I saw. I don't know what you guys and girls saw. I don't know what, you know, maybe you guys are gonna tell me, yeah, it's not, he wasn't all that. I like what I saw from a rookie coming in second pick and performing the way he did. I, I liked it. Um, on the other hand, Mike Lennon, they should, they should, I know it's a, they said it's like a one year deal, right? But he's making ridiculous amounts of money. This guy is a joke. He's a joke. He's talking about Twitter after the, after the game. You know, I'm not gonna look at my phone. Bro, the guy is worried about the wrong things. I look, I don't see him starting. I say put Mitch Trubisky in as a starter. The same way I told you guys to put Watson in as a starter. Don't waste time. You know these guys are bums. You know that Mike Glennon is a bum. Put you put Trubisky out there and don't look back. Congratulations, Bear fans. You might have picked the right one. Like, subscribe, and share. One love.